There you go, buddy. Run. Why isn't it running? Holy shit. Okay. It's running at me. It is yet another day in the long dark. A pretty different day because we aren't starting at the cabin. If you didn't see the end of the last one, we climbed two mountaineering ropes. We're on a pretty high mountain and, I mean, it's not too far away from the cabin, so... We don't have to worry about getting lost, but we have to worry about actually surviving because we are dehydrated. So let me get a drink. A nice orange soda to start the day. And I mean, it's pretty laid out. Not only that, there's some wolves, as you can hear. But I think they're down. They're not actually on the mountain. So let me pick up my bedroll here. I did take a nap, though. I did take like a two-hour nap just to get some energy up. But I think we have enough daylight to explore the rest of the mountain. Oh, God. There is something dead. As you can see, there are birds, so... Dude, I don't know, man. The wolves sound pretty close. I think they're down there, though. Let me see if we can spot them. I mean, we should be able to. We did hear a bark right before I started climbing. I can't get over that little rope, but... Uh, I don't see anything right now. So, they could be up here. I don't know. Depends how big this mountain is. Anyways, let's try and see what's dead over here. I'm hoping it's a, a deer because I do need some food. However, if it is a deer, there's probably some nasty animals that live on top of the mountain. So, yep, it's a deer. Oh, God. However, it looks like the snow got him. Then again, I don't think snow does that to a deer. Wow, only one pound of meat yeah this is definitely the work of an animal i'm hoping it's a wolf that killed it but bears are known to live in the mountains so i wouldn't be too surprised if it is a bear seems like it goes downwards see down here I'm not seeing too much of anything and i mean i'm kind of worried about leaving the cave because it is shelter i don't know if there's going to be some sort of mountain cabin like I've said before, I really want to live in a mountain cabin. I feel a lot safer on the mountain. So, I mean, we could either go down there or up here. Which, I don't know. I heard some howls in this direction, so I'm a little worried. But let's just hope they're actually, you know, not on the mountain. And let's see what's over here. There's definitely a lot of trees, that's for damn sure. We could easily get lost out here. So, I have to be careful. I'm kind of regretting my decision going this way, but you know what? I'm going to stick to my guns. Maybe there's something good out here. All right, I've made it back to the cave entrance. I guess there's not too much over there besides all the trees, so... I don't know. I mean, there's a dead deer up here, so there is some sort of, you know, predatory animal lurking these woods, so we have to be on edge. I don't think we have to be that on edge to take our bow out or anything, but, you know, just be cautious as I normally am. But I think this just leads down, so I don't think there's really much reason to go climbing, which, yeah, as you can see, that's our cabin down there. I guess the one good thing about going up there is you get a good view of the area. And, I mean, I did say I was going to take out a deer in the last one, and I didn't. We are taking out a deer in this episode, I mean, no doubt. And I do need some guts to make that deer skin clothing, so I'm beginning to think maybe we take this deer out. And I mean, if you think about it, the longer this deer stays here, the more likely it's going to be hunted by some sort of wolf, bear, who knows what. And I mean, that's way too close to the cabin, so we may be doing us a favor here. All right, here we go. The deer's stopping. I really, I mean, even though I have the ammo, I do not want to waste a bullet, so... I'm going to be smart about this. Let's just stalk him for a little bit. Wait for him to stop. Here we go. Now's the time. He's looking right at me. Come on. No, I don't like it. Damn, I missed a good shot there. Okay, we're going to do it. The next time he stops, I'm going to... Here we go. He's eating. And I think I got him. Let's begin tracking once again. I guess we could reload. Now we actually do not have any ammo to spare, so... We only have however much a clip is out of uh, whatever number that is. We are back on the trail. I also hear birds, so that may be him. They may have already to drink. 
found his dead. Fucking shut up. Yeah, I messed up. Okay, well, you know what? We're not gonna win every single battle. Okay. I will continue climbing this little rock bridge here, but yeah. We can't win everything. Seems like the deer got away. And I guess the gun can go. Ow. Didn't mean to do that. There's some birds up ahead. I don't know if it's an animal I've already spotted or maybe a different one. Oh, wait. Yes. Some more blood. We're back on the trail. Somehow, we have located this deer again. Uh, I do not want to lose it again. Okay, here we go. I don't think we shot him in a good spot after all. I think that's a good conclusion to come to after this. Okay, but I do hear some birds this way. Then again, I don't see his tracks, so, I mean, I don't know, dude. This... I've never been so hungry in my life. This was a rough hunt. However, there are some birds. I don't know if it's a different animal. We'll see. Uh... Oh, wait. We've been there before. There's a dead body of a dude, so maybe that's where the birds are coming from. Uh, I don't know, dude. That seems a little steep. I don't think I'm going down that way. I do see some saplings down there, and we have to make it home pretty quick. So, wait, are there more birds? Yeah, there is. Oh yeah, maybe that's the deer. We'll see when we get there and see if he's, you know, been munched on or anything. A birch sapling, I do not need that at the moment. I think I also see a cave over there too. Check out this deer. Is it the one we shot? I don't think it is. There's a cave there too. Oh God. Oh yeah, we're also thirsty. Let's get something to drink and maybe something to munch on. Maybe some sardines. Oh, I think it is. Yeah. Wow. I did not expect to catch up to this deer. So apparently the hunt didn't actually go too bad. It's only 13% frozen, so this is the deer. Nice, dude. Okay. Uh, I mean, we do have some meat, so I only need to take maybe five. Let's use a hunting knife so it doesn't take too much time. Never mind. It's getting laid out getting way too laid out uh but i do want to check out this cave first oh god it goes pretty deep i don't know dude <laughs> this match sucks i don't even know why i have it it's, it's not helping at all i'd rather have a gun oh god this cave goes pretty deep um i will take the firewood but i don't think Think there's any for shelter. Yes, dude. As my character is just saying, we do need to find some shelter. And yeah, let's go back to our cabin. I am not trying to be out here at night. I'm pretty sure the cabin's right over there. That's Mystery Lake, I think. But I do not want to sprain my ankle right now. Or break my leg. But then again, I do not have time to look for another way around. Should we do it? Okay, we're gonna try. Please don't. Okay, we're good. Nice. Ow! Okay, I almost I almost messed that up, but we made it. I did not sprain my ankle or break my leg. Neither of those things happened. And I think the cabin is this way. I'm too tired to think straight. Oh shit, yeah, we are tired. Oh god, that may be really bad because if we collapse from exhaustion and a bear stumbles upon us, uh, obviously that would not be good. So let's try and make it home quick just down here so we should make it I'm feeling a little uneasy with these circumstances I don't know how long it takes once you're this exhausted to actually collapse I've never actually had that happen so I'm a little worried as you can see the stars are coming out it is beautiful I have to say I'm worried I'm gonna start hallucinate oh I'm really slowing down here this may be bad can I run? No, I cannot run. Okay. I'm a little nervous, man. The scary thing is, imagine if, like, a wolf charges me right now. I cannot run. This is how fast I can go, so... And it's getting really dark. No. What is that? Is that a wolf? I don't think it's a wolf. Okay. We're good. Besides the fact it's getting extremely dark out. A little... Too quickly, for my liking. I mean, it is creepy out here. Damn. I think we can make it back. I thought that rock was a wolf, and I almost accepted my fate. I was like, it's over, but we're good. It is time to celebrate. We have made it a full month in the long dark. I'm very surprised, but we have made it 
with, you know, a few hurdles. Don't get me wrong. We Oh! Did I just drink unsafe water? Surprise, but we have made it with, you know... We have no afflictions. I'm pretty sure I just drank some unsafe water on accident. God damn it. I'm not trying to die from some sort of, you know, illness, okay? So, hopefully maybe we can wash it down with some venison. I mean, these are moldy. That's rancid. Uh, gamey. I'll take gamey venison. We're heading back out once again. And there's one thing I wanted to do. Remember that cave I found in the last one with the bones? It turns out I forgot. I was told that that means it's some sort of cave for either wolf or bear. So, I mean, <laughs> that's, you know, obviously not good. But I wanted to get some confirmation. Maybe we could go back and check to see if there's, you know, a bear or a wolf sleeping there. I mean, if it's a wolf and it's sleeping, I may actually take him out because that's one less threat we have to deal with. If it's a bear, I'm probably not going to mess with him, okay? Let's be real. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I think there's another cabin I didn't search down there. So, there's a few reasons to go over there. And, yeah, I'm a little nervous, okay? Not going to lie. Because if you think about it, we saw a bear, right? And that bear was not too far away from that cave. So, if you put two and two together, it's probably a bear cave. Let's be real, okay? I'm not going to kid myself. It's, you know, not likely to be some sort of wolf cave. And also, those bones were pretty damn big. Got those crackles, man. They get me every time. Because it's either the ice breaking on you or maybe some sort of, you know, creature stepping on the ice. But I don't think it's anything. But that's something. <laughs> that's a bear. So, okay, you know what? There's no shadow of a doubt. We have confirmation that cave belongs to the bear so uh yeah we should probably avoid that area the thing is i want to go search that cabin and we're running low on food so i kind of want to risk it okay but the bear's going slow so let's do it now and i mean if it charges us we can't just run into the cabin so this is risky and i don't like doing this okay don't get me wrong but i mean we got listen man we gotta take some risks to survive out here okay it's just how it goes we can't, this, this isn't all rainbows and sunshine in the long dark. We have to do some gritty things, and this is gritty. Of course the bear's heading this way, so yeah. Damn. Maybe, hmm, I don't know. You know what I could do? I have a very good idea. So, remember that rancid venison I have? These are moldy, that's rancid. I'm gonna drop it inside the cave once the bear's, you know, far away. And maybe it'll munch on that rancid venison and get sick. I don't know if this works, but... I think I'm gonna do it because I'm not confident in living next to a bear. Look at that thing. I don't know how far it can see me, but I'm not taking any chances. Okay. Hey, buddy. See you, buddy. I think that's a good idea, though. Like I said, I don't think it works, but I, th I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. We have some sardines. Awesome. I'll eat that right now. We are low on food. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna wait. Hope I can still eat. Yes. Some more food. Even more food. Nice. A side dish for the pork and beans. We have some chips. And I think that is it. Let's just make sure I'm not missing a bullet like I normally do. Under the table, under the bed. No. Okay. So I'm going to wait two hours. I'm not stepping out there right now. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, but then again, can we afford to pass two hours? We need all the daylight we can. So let's pass an hour. Immediately look for where the bear is. It was walking this way... Yep, that's the bear. I don't know how I missed it. I think it's the time to go to... Is it walking this way now? Okay, let's just back out before it, you know, comes this way. I think we have to be, you know, a bit closer than we are now for it to actually be interested in me. So, I think we're gonna... You know what? Oh, I don't have any rocks. Are you kidding me? There's some over here, but dude, this is risky. I hate this. I hate this so much. Okay, here we go. Get the stone. The other, you know, I'm going to leave that other stone. I'm not risking it. And we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it over there. This is our time. Give it a baseball throw. I don't know if our character played baseball, but that would definitely help. And I don't think the bear cares. Is it walking that way? No, it's walking this way. All right. Um, I'm starting to second guess this idea because, dude, if this bear spots me in its cave, I am dead. I don't know if this tactic works, but I'm gonna try it, okay? I'm desperate. I do not want to live next to a bear. And I'm not confident enough to shoot it or anything like that, so 
here we are, okay. I'm gonna drop it right here. So we got this ruined piece of venison on the ground, and let me see, here we go, rancid venison too. So there we go, look at that. Two nasty pieces of meat right there. Good thing is it's heading off, so I don't know how long it's gonna take to come back here, but hopefully it eats that. Cause I'd imagine it'd come back here to sleep and stuff. So yeah, here we go. That was a little sketchy back there, okay? But we got through it, we sucked it up, and we have a chance of, you know, taking out the bear without actually, you know, having it notice me. So, I mean, maybe it'll work. Like I said, I don't know, but yeah, we'll find out. Anyways, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head off towards those train tracks because they did go on a bit further and I wanted to see if there was any other things, you know, that I could search through. See if we can find some more rifle ammo, that would be awesome. All right, so down there leads to another region. It's a tunnel, and I haven't yet gone through it, but I did find that in one of the other episodes. I don't think we're ready to leave the region yet, but I did see there are two train containers, I think, down there. So, I mean, that's got to have something in them, you know. Hopefully it's some sort of ammunition train and it was, you know, hauling rifle ammo. I doubt that's going to be the case, but that would be ideal. You know what I do know? There's something dead. I'm guessing it's human because it's around these trains. Maybe the train conductor, I don't know. So there's definitely two dead people over here. Oh god, I see a wolf. Okay, can we open this? We cannot. Uh, do I have another rock? Shit, okay. I do not want to abandon this idea. I need some, uh supplies so let me see if there's a rock nearby so i can kind of you know lure that wolf away oh god too late too late here's the food there's an offering buddy moldy venison you know what we have a decent amount of venison so i'm fine doing that there you go buddy you're gonna walk away please don't walk towards the okay yes he's walking that way nice so we can actually search these trains awesome i was a little worried i was gonna have to avoid this area but we're good, unless there's another wolf, of course, but is there another way over here that I can get to the trains, I hope, without, you know, jumping down and spraining my ankle? Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, I'm guessing that wolf was munching on the steer over here. So, I mean, that's good. That gives us our venison back that we just used to, you know, drop the decoy. So, I'm actually not going to get it right now because it does take time. Oh my god, is that two flares? Yes. So if this wolf charges us, we will be good. Oh my god, and I'm pretty sure we can use these to repair our bow, so I will definitely take that. I'm very happy. Emergency stim, that's good. Antiseptic, nice. Especially since, you know, we're living this close to a bear. We may have to use those eventually. I mean, I hope not, but we may have to. Let's see if there's any way I can actually get in this train. Maybe through here. I don't know. Up here, maybe? I don't think so. Okay, but over here, it does look like... Oh, God. The wolf's back. Shit. Uh, you know what? We have enough t time to use... We haven't... Fuck! We have enough flares to use it. Okay. I won't feel too bad. Also, this will make the wolf leave us alone for a while. Here we go. I don't know why he's not... Running. Uh... Man, that's a big wolf. Why is it not scared of the flare? That's why I don't understand. Buddy, I have a flare here, man. Do I have to throw it at him? It has worked before. You know what? I'm going to risk it. I need to search that train because it looks like you can enter it. There you go, buddy. Run. Why isn't it running? Holy shit. Okay. It's running at me. Oh, shit. Damn. Okay. Wow. It was just a delayed reaction. It seems to be coming back, so I'm going to take it. I'm not even mad that I wasted a bullet, okay? I just... Wow. Okay. So, apparently, it was just a little delayed reaction and the wolf was scared of the flare eventually. Damn, okay. I was, I was a little worried there was nothing in here, but there is, oh my God. Oh, that's revolver ammunition, shit, man. Pretty damn stressful, not gonna lie. I hope that food ends up poisoning the bear. I don't know if it's gonna work, like I said, it probably doesn't, but you know what? I'm desperate, just grasp me out straws here. I do not wanna live next to a bear and I'm not ready to leave this cabin, I like it. The only way I can see myself leaving the cabin is for the watchtower, which speaking of that, that's what we're going to do in the next one. I want to go to the watchtower, see if there's anything of value. In the meantime, I hope you have a good one. See ya.